day 43. I'm still at home because, you know, this is going on again. Boo. Blah. Anyways, besides that, Blue, great news. The game, your coach's comments. Um, I suppose he was going to tell you something similar before the game because those comments sound like they're after the game. I wonder what he was going to say before the game, but whatever he was going to say, what he said after the game was great. So maybe there's some, uh, <clears throat> hopefully now, you know, some of the better teams that are looking at the guys are going to be interested in you. And we'll see what happens from there, man. See, just go out there and play, man. Enjoy it. Have fun. Confidence, baby. Heart of the lion. Heart of the lion. So listen, <clears throat> to, to crush your spirits a little bit, I just got off the phone with Charles Schwab. And here's what the issue is. On January 27th, the day the millennials took over the stock market, you sold like $2,000 worth of CIAC or something like that stock, which is fine. And on the same day with that money, you bought AMC stock, the $2,000 worth of AMC stock, which is fine. The problem is that in the same day, you sold the AMC stock, which is not fine because the CIAC or whatever it was that you sold, that settlement hadn't cleared yet. You had to wait a couple of days for that to clear. So that was the violation um, that you sold because you didn't have money cleared to, to 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 offset everything. If you had money, if you had like two thousand dollars sitting aside that was already cleared, it would have been fine. But you used the money you, which is fine. You used the money from what you sold to buy the AMC, which is fine. But then you couldn't turn around and sell the AMC. So that's kind of like day trader stuff. So there's there's other sites for day trader stuff that doesn't hit you with those violations. The issue with the day trader stuff is that the tax rate is thirty seven percent. And what we're doing, just kind of, you know, not day trading, the tax rate is 15%. So we got to be careful on that because I'm the guy who has to pay the taxes on that 37% of whatever. Whether It doesn't matter what your end money is at the time of taxes. It, every time you make a profit, 15% of that profit gets taxed. Whether it's a, if it's a dollar, it's 15 cents. If it's $100, it's 15 bucks, right? And that's something I have to pay. So it doesn't care. They don't care what your ending balance is. They just care about all the positive money you've made, and that's what they're going to tax, you know, fifteen percent or thirty-seven percent if they consider it day trading. So those are things you have to kind of consider as you move forward. So that's that. So, anyways, love you. Continue to enjoy your time and continue to enjoy uh, playing soccer. And we'll talk to you again, buddy. I love you. Actually, I've had enough. Come home now, all right? I miss you. I try not to think about it. I love you. Bye-bye.